So we are going to practice with measuring with a protractor. So if we look here, my step one is always going to be to line up the vertex. So I'm going to line it up inside of the dot right here. Okay. Then I'm going to line up one side of the angle. I'm going to line up the line right here on the bottom to see how the protractor is lined up. I'm going to line it up. Okay. And then step three is I'm going to read the measure from the other side of the angle. So let's look here. So if I was going to measure this and I was going to use this uh, protractor, I'm going to line it up. See the line right in here? I'm going to line that up right here in the very middle. And then I'm going to line up one of my sides right here on the angle. And then I'm going to look at what the measurement is. If I look at the measurement, now I know that this angle is acute. So that means it can't be 100 because 90 is right here. And this angle is definitely not bigger than 90. It's actually, it's going to be less than 90 because it's an acute angle. So if I look here, I know that this measurement is going to be 80. So it's going to be this bottom measurement, not this top measurement of 100. So here the measure of the angle is 80 degrees. All right, let's practice with another one. Okay, so let's look down here. So we have a little girl playing soccer and we're going to measure the angle that she's going to kick the ball. So again, same thing. I'm going to first, I'm going to line up the, up the vertex. Second, I'm going to put my line on the uh, right here on a line right line up one side of the angle so i'm going to line up right here this side of the angle all right so i'm going to look here and i'm going to look at my measurement well if i look here my measurement is either 40 or 140. well i know it can't be 140 because this angle is an acute angle so this is a acute so this definitely cannot be more than 90 because remember acute angle is less than 90 degrees. Okay. So I know it has to be less than 90. So if I look here, can't be 140. It has to be 40. So the angle here is 40 degrees. All right. Let's look at another one. Okay. So this girl's doing a stretch. Let's try do it again. So again, line up the vertex. Second step is to line up my line. So here I did lined up my line. And if I look here, if I look at the measurement here, I know that this again is a acute angle. Okay. So it's an acute angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to then know that it can't be 130. It has to be closer to 50. But if I look here, it's not exactly 50. This is 50 and this is 60. So if I look, it's actually at what? If I count by ones, it's going to be what? So right here would be 50, 51, 52. So this would be 52 degrees. Because I would count these ones all the way up to 60. Because this is 120, but it's also 60 right here. This is 50. This is, this is going to be 51. 52. All right, let's try drawing our own with angle. Okay, so again, I'm going to, so I'm going to start with that. I'm going to make my own vertex. I'm going to put my dot. Then I'm going to use my protractor and draw my starting line. So again, I'm still going to line up the vertex, draw my line. And then I'm going to measure. So now I'm measuring. So now that I have it lined up, I'm measuring to 40. So I'm going to go here to 40. I'm going to put a, a dot. Turn your protractor. So you can use your straight edge to make your rays. Because now I have two rays. Right? So here's one ray. Here's my second ray. So if I look here, this is now 40 degrees. All right? Let's try a different one. Okay? So again, I'm going to put my, make my dot, my vertex, right? That's my, and then I'm going to put my protractor on here, draw my line. Okay. I'm going to leave it right there and I'm going to look. I'm measuring to 125. 
So I'm going to, so I know that 125 is bigger than 90. So if I look here, I have 120 and the half, the five would be right in between. So right here. So I'm gonna put my dot and then I'm gonna draw using the straight edge. I'm gonna connect my dots. Oh, let me line that up a little bit better. All right, connect my dots. And then that would be, draw my, my uh, rays, because I have two rays. Remember, this is a ray, this is a ray, this is my vertex. And then I know that this is 125 degrees, because this is obtuse, right? This is an obtuse angle, so this works because this is drawn as an obtuse angle.